What is up guys, Barry the King back here, more Pokemon Emerald. Last time we left off, we um, got our last and final gym badge, so I might take out the sidebars in this episode. Uh, might not, depends on how I go about this situation. But anyway, we're about to go and do something that I've been waiting to do for a while. The Elite Four Challenge, so yes, we're gonna get out of here finally. Get out of Superbus. And, um. Yeah. I guess I could just say we're getting out of Superbus. So, yes, we are leaving this place to go and face the ultimate challenge. The Elite Four. So I'm sort of excited about going to take on the Elite Four simply because, uh. Yeah, I'm gonna finally be coming to an end with this series. It's been. Uh, a while since I started this and I need to spray some extra pills but it's been a while since I've started this series um I remember my first video how horrible it was and how off the camera was and how horrible the sidebar was and well that was simply because I sucked at doing all that stuff then and truthfully in my opinion I still suck at doing it now so yes and I still have a few items that I bought from when I was fighting those people that got max repels and revives and whatnot. Uh, but anyway, we're about to continue and go to Elite Four. But what I was saying was, uh, it's been a while since I started this and how horrible I've gotten and how, um, how far I've come in doing this and, uh, like how I've done everything. The way how I, like, made this series, sort of, I guess you could say way how the series started compared to how it's going to end uh it's really weird like i did not expect me to become this um good at making all this stuff i don't know but whatever hold on i'm about to go and dive up in here i see london i see france i see an item bird in the deep blue sea and there was some protein awesome how did I know? Because this was the place that we came to when we uh, were doing that one thing with the Pokemon. And you guys know what I'm talking about. Well, it's either between doing this or I could go to the Leaf 4 now or I could go and catch Rayquaza with the Master Ball and easily defeat the Elite 4 with level 70 Pokemon. So it's between those two things of what I'm going to do. So it's either I go and get Rayquaza now, or I take on the Elite Four with only five Pokemon in hand, which I believe I could do, because, uh, let's face it, I don't need six Pokemon, because all my Pokemon are very unique. Uh, they could take out different types. Swampert can take out the Ground, Rock, Fire, Dragon, Grass, Swampert, oh, Multi tasking uh pokemon and then you have crobat who could take out many types too but uh sort of hard to name because i did not really study up on the pokemon that they could take out and i'm still confused on where that can go oh yeah i'm almost there awesome so first thing i have to do is get past these two douchebags yes awesome so we're off to a good start and where we were in evergrande city so yes and or, oh yeah, I forgot we need to use Waterfall, but I'm not going to use that on Swampert simply because um, the the moves that he has equipped right now, that's his permanent moveset and I do not feel like changing that. So what we're going to do is wait for this Repel effect to wear off and then we are going to uh, capture ourselves a Water Pokemon and teach it Waterfall. This is going to be my first HM Slave. Awesome. That effect wore off. No, I just need to sit here and keep going back and forth. Yes, so finally. What is it? It's a wingle. Does wing could wingle learn waterfall? I'm not taking any chances. I'm gonna catch a Pokemon that I'm positive can learn waterfall because I do not want to teach a Pokemon waterfall. Or catch Pokemon that I think learn Waterfall and that ends up not learning Waterfall. So hold on, I'm about to go and check in my Pokemon book. Uh, 
Ugh. Okay. Um, Tentacruel, let me look it up. Tentacruel, 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 Tentacruel. 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 I'm gonna keep saying Tentacruel until I can find this darn thing, because I have no idea what number it is. Tento. Cool. I have no idea why I was saying cruel. A flinging of its evolved form. Um. Tentato. Tentito. Oh, found it. Okay. So, Tentacool. It. Yes, it can learn waterfall. Awesome. So, what I'm going to do is use Ice Beam. Okay, that did not do. Oh, yes, it did do something. It froze a Tentacruel. Uh, tend to cool. Why did I say cruel? I have no idea. Alright, whatever. We're gonna catch this. This son of a gun. Son of sun. Son of mun. And our final Pokeball. I've noticed I captured all my Pokemon Pokeballs, in case no one's noticed. But yes, I've captured all my Pokemon with regular Pokeballs. Simply because, uh. You don't see on the, the uh, cartoon that they have, like, great balls and crap. And I'm not a person that would do something like that. So I decided, hey, I'm going to capture all my Pokemon with the regular Pokeballs. And that's what I decided to go with. Do I just have to get, you know? Uh, yeah, sure. So awesome. We got ourselves our first slave. What things can slave do? What are the things slave can do? Hmm, slave. What can we teach slave? Well, first we should teach slave cut. Because slave can learn cut. And slave is frozen. But who cares? We're going to teach slave cut. It has acid, bubble beam, and constrict. And then get rid of constrict. It's awesome. So slave learned cut. And we're also going to teach slave waterfall. Because Slave can learn Waterfall too. And none of my other Pokemon can learn Waterfall but Swampert. So now it has Cut and Bubble Beam. I mean, Bubble Beam. And Waterfall. What was I thinking? Bubble Beam. Stupid eyesight of mine looking at Bubble Beam and not Waterfall. Yes, we would like to scale up this beautiful Waterfall. Oh, and wow. As soon as we get up, we run into what? We run into another tentacool. But guess who gives a crap? Nobody. Nobody, not me. Nope. Let's just get awesome. We're here in, we're here in the beautiful Evergrand City. And look who's here. That dude named Scott Pilgrim versus the world. I'm just joking, Scott. Um... First of all, I'd like to address you guys. I am going to train the crap out of my Pokemon before I answer there because all of them are going to be at the final levels. So that means Vibrava is going to be a uh, thingy majigger, you know, uh, Flygon. Brago, you've clawed your way up to face the Pokemon League. I'm happy for you. You made my cheerings worthwhile. Brago, you're to become the Pokemon League champion. I'll get in touch with you then. Okay, Brago, go for greatness. Thanks, Scott, for being a bud. So what I'm going to do now is go inside here and take on the challenge of a lifetime. It felt like a lifetime ago. Came in in a truck. Didn't want to do anything. I don't know. I'm going to stop singing. Going to use a Max Repel so we don't attract any of them wild uh, Pokemons while we're in here. Um, guess we'll go this way first. Let's go. Whoa, look who it is. We haven't seen this kid in a long time. Hi, Brago. I bet you're surprised to see me here. I made all the way up here and all thanks to you, Brago. Losing to you that time made me stronger. But I'm not going to lose anymore. I'm going to win for the Pokemon who gave me courage and strength. Okay, here I come. Wow, the last time we fought him was like around the third gym, I think. This dude. We haven't seen him in ages. And all of a sudden, he just comes out of nowhere and, and tells us he wants to challenge us. And while his Pokemon are way stronger than mine, I don't think we're going to make it. Just kidding. I know we're gonna make it. Just uses Dragon Dance. Look at it. It uses Dragon Dance, raising its attack and defense and speed. My bad. Attack and speed, thinking it's all cool and stuff. But whatever. We're gonna use Ice Beam because it's a flying and dragon type, so that's a double weakness. And he's gonna use a heal. 
like the trainer he is, he's gonna use a full restore. My bad, did not mean to say heal, but he's a full restore. So what, 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 what? He is gonna use Dragon Dance again, thinking that's gonna really change the situation. And it really is not gonna do crap. It's gonna send out a Rosalia. Yes, I called him an it. I have no idea, but he's pretty cool, so I guess I should take that back. He is going to send out Rosalia. See, I give him different respect than what I give everyone else that I hate. Okay, Roselia versus Crobat. Crobat uses wing attack. And he's probably gonna be wondering why'd I lose? You your Pokemon are lower level than mine. I have more skill, buddy. Try and put skill against level and you lose unless you have like horrible level. I mean our levels aren't that far apart, like what? We're all two levels apart from our Pokemon, two, three levels apart, all of them. Like seriously, what does he think? Coming to me thinking just because his Pokemon are higher level, they're gonna have some kind of difference in power when he sucks. No offense, but he does. Maybe if he was a little bit of a better trainer, he'd have somewhat of a different uh, strategy against someone of my caliber. He uses Psychic. Psychic does what? doesn't kill us, that's what I can tell you. Awesome, so what about Gardevoir? Gardevoir is dead. Because Vibrava is a man. Well, a woman! <laughs> wow, I almost forgot it was a girl. Vibrava is the woman. Now we're going to send out Hariyama. The tank of the team. Uses Delcate. So Delcate versus Hariyama. Uses Future Sight and Hariyama took it took the future side attack that that other one sent out and now using assist and use double team double team versus arm thrust is nothing arm thrust is ah oh, crap it fell for its charms but well, who gives a crap it's still gonna hit come on one more oh no Ariam, i think he's out for it come on if he could just get through the little love thing, then he's good for now. Come on. Uh, Hariyama's being a, a, what do you call it? I think a lover's man. I, I don't know. If, is it a lover's man? I don't know. I forgot what you call it. Uh, he's being a lover boy. But he won't freaking get off this love thing. He's stuck on love. You're not supposed to stay in love during battle. It's just not the thing to do. And Delcaddy's getting all kinds of things in. And Hariyama's still sitting there dazed and confused with love until he finally breaks free of this love curse and uses arm thrust. That only hit twice. Okay, well, we're ending this crap. If you do not hit with the vital throw, I don't know. I might replace you. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. Hariyama's, Hariyama's too cool to be replaced. Ariyama's in love with the foe, and he's still love immobilized with love. Okay, enough of this. It tries to use Sing, but the attack misses. Ariyama's still in love, sadly. He uses Sing, the attack misses. Ariyama's still in love, and uses Vital Thrill, though. And that is how it is done. Thank you, Ariyama, for finally realizing that love is just not the way. And he has a Magneton. He has a good, good choice of Pokemon, and he uses Super Sonic. Supersonic. Hariyama's confused and hurts itself. You guys use Vital Throw, but Magneton uses Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt does not do anything against a Vital Throw. <gasps> wow. Okay, so Hariyama was so close to hitting it. I was getting a little bit too cocky there. Almost let my cockiness uh, take over, but that is just not the contra way. And he uses Thunderbolts again. Gonna use rocks that uses thunderbolts again. Oh, now Hariyama's paralyzed. Hariyama is confused. Hariyama uses rock smash. That is what's up. He went through paralyzation 
and confusion and still get up there alive. Wow, Breaker, you're strong after all. No, duh. I'm the strongest. I couldn't be here today, Brago, but one of these days, I'll catch up with you. Are you just gonna stand there and keep talking? So yes, only two of my Pokemon got uh, really badly injured. But whatever, we're gonna dig our way out of here. Do, 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 and someone calls, oh, Brago, it's me, Jeffrey, oh, wait, oh, wait. Uh, I can't catch out uh, I get supposed to lose, but I can't get something clogged. Something, uh, I don't know. <gasps> whatever, we're gonna go in here, heal my Pokemon. Will heal two of my Pokemon. I wish I could have said, but no, no, I do not want to heal again. Okay, guys, well, I'm gonna cut the video here. When I say cut, I mean just edit this whole part of me going through here out. And I'll just pop up at the end and be like, Whoa, guys, I got out. And then you guys are like, Whoa, seriously? So, yeah, uh, just a really quick cut in the video. So, if you guys, uh, don't get bored. Alright, what is up guys, Burger the King back here, more Pokemon Emerald. Um gosh, my Brava just evolved into Flygon. Because uh Yeah, um it was pretty freaking hard in this game. It's been like an hour in there. I got all my Pokemon to level 45. Well, except for Slave, because you know he's just slave. But anyway, we're about to go here. <sighs> I've been in there for too long. My eyes are actually starting to hurt. Whatever, first we're gonna heal my Pokemon. <sighs> Go over here. All right, since we're here, we're gonna buy some items. Um, first of all, I wanna see how many revives I could buy. It's only F5 inside my uh, storage. Gonna buy 50. And let's see how many how many max potions four stores can't buy those many four stores. All right, so um four stores I guess we'll buy forty nine. Yep, using all my cash. This is it'll get four people. We are not gonna be punks and get in here. All right, well this is the end of this part. Hope you guys enjoyed. It. Remember to check out the previous part of me going to beats. Leader Wallace, um, hope you guys enjoyed this part. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed this part. Only got one more thing to say, and that this is Bear with the King. And I'll be seeing you guys later. A peace.